Hi guys, welcome back to Bella's Big Adventures. My name is Sue and Doug and I are today at Motorhome and Garavan Show for the first time. We haven't been able to come before because Covid's been on all the time. So I'm really excited to get in there and see what's new. See you in a bit. So we're at the Aruba stand and we have got the lovely Pop Top Caravan. Overview, a lovely pop top on the top. There's several of them, so hopefully I'll get into one of them. Wow. Mm, let's have a look at this. Mm, little seating area. Wow. We've got some fabulous storage units. Pop top makes a lovely height for you to stand up. And we've got sink and fridge down here. What kind of two gas burners, very good. And a little sink, stainless steel sink. And a set for the fridge, very cute. Yeah. And a lovely lounge area. That's lovely. Really like it. Lots of storage units all the way around. And we've got heating down here, I think. And I'm assuming that this is a wardrobe. Place to hang the coats and the little storage pocket. And then we've got the bathroom area, which has a little sink, a mirror with a magnifying area, and a set for toilet. And obviously the shower cubicle has the curtains that come around. And then you use this as your shower head. Really good. And obviously it's a wet room so you've got the drainage in the floor. That is super sweet, like that. Oh, that's really, really nice. And a grand total of £33,880. Right, we're in the Heimers, which are very familiar to us, of course. Very nice. 4.1 kilograms. This is the crossover, so it has the 4x4 four four tyres. Right, so we've got some banquet seating. Nice sunroof over the cab. Typical Hyman, beautiful leather seats. TV. And we've again got three gas burners. Nice drawers. Slimlines fridge freezer. So nice. Different finish on it, of course, to our home. Very nice. And we've got a very nice sink in here. Toilet. Big mirror. I think those others must have been a swivel. Because <coughs> this doesn't look like a swivel. Storage cupboard for all your wares. I'm not quite sure what that's for. <coughs> and then it's a wet room as well. Yeah. Obviously you take out the duckboard to use it as a shower. And then you've got a proper bed in here, which is cool. Lots of storage. Nice headboard as well. You can actually sit up in this one, which is cool. And it looks like you can make it into an extra long bed with the additional cushion. Wow, lots of hanging space under there, so there is plenty of storage. Uh, here is the Heimer Venture S, which is beautiful. I've been looking at it on the channel for so long, yeah. like, it's just likes to see it in the flesh, isn't it? Wow. We've got a Heimer 880, so um, we've been uh, getting used to the Heimer quality, oh, which yeah. is significantly better than some of us have, does it? Wow, the toilet looks great. And then this slides out, doesn't it, this to make a out. shower room, yeah. yeah. That looks really cool. Let's have a look at the kitchen. And it's the fridge, it's quite a big fridge there. That's not me, so That's not me, Nice hob. And sink. 
big storage mm -hmm. and that table slides down and pushes underneath the seat and then you've got the deck outside some shelving Oh, cool. I love these stairs. Lots of extra storage space. Oh yeah, massive all the storage. So we yeah, that's it. brilliant. Here. That's a great idea. Even in the steps. Fabulous. Can I stick my head up the top? Yeah, sure. Just watch your head. Yep, we'll do. Oh, it's like a little cocoon with all this insulation around. <laughs> wow, that is really cool. There's some lights here and some sockets and a lovely mattress. This is like a big bubble. Very cool. Fabulous. I mean, the paint colour is amazing. Apparently the paint is heat reflective or something. And that pop top is really tall. That is super cool. And super expensive. £212,400. Yep. £212,000. Wow. Let's go around the back. This is the Deathlifts on an Aveco Globetrotter XXLA. I'll have a little look in there when people have finished. This is the 9002 and it's twin beds. Ooh, let's have a look at this then. Nice and spacious, isn't it? Nice big banquet seats on both sides. Which does of course mean you can't turn the seats around, but it's on a truck and you have got an overcab bed in here. Which pulls down nicely. Fabulous big cabinets. But you are on a truck in effect. Automatic two-way fridge again. Have you saw this time? Sorry, I'm going to squeeze past you. It's quite busy here today. So we've got a island bed with wardrobes each side and some hanging space here. Very nice, lots of headspace. Massive shower. Sorry about the strobing lights. That's a fabulous shower, that is. Absolutely fabulous. And you've got the door that separates the bedroom off from the bathroom. Nice sink area, toilet, lots of cabinet space with skylights. It's a fabulous bathroom. And a nice curved kitchen. And we've got the three burner hub. Nice. Same, same tag as the timer. And we've got outward opening cupboards for a change. It's obviously an extractor fan as well because it's blocking the cupboard. Yeah, very nice. Oh, that's a nice open, light and airy dining area. Nice little kitchen with an oven and a hob. Three burner hob again. And this one has a big island bed with a folding shower cubicle, which is nice. It's very light and spacious, it feels like. So you get a nice little sink, toilet, ensuite shower area. There is a drop down bed, but it's over the dining area in here. That was the Trend 7057 double, and that is 84,625. Here we've got the Leica stand. This is the Creos L5009, retailing at 123,140 for the base vehicle. Right. I really like it. Is that a dishwasher? No. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, that's very, that's very fancy. <laughs> this is a sort of 
I like that with the round table. Oh, yeah. Makes a big difference, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's easier to get around yeah. and things like that. Yeah, lovely that. Very, very nice. Nice quality, isn't it? Yes. yes. Have a look at this bedroom. Twin beds that convert, presumably. I think there might be an infill cushion that goes in there. There's usually storage under the bed, but obviously the steps hmm. step folds away. People have um, scratched the cupboard opening it without putting the step away. Oh wow, so that's cool. That pulls out hanging space that pulls out when the steps put away. And then um, you've got a place for your TV. Storage all around. That's fabulous. Shower cube, oh, that looks amazing. Glass door with, with a shower. There's a little, what is that? Oh, pull out, that's cool. Nice storage space for jars and things like that. That's cool. And then again, we've got the door that opens to make a separate ensuite. Fabulous mirrors in here. Lovely. I really like the style of this, it's beautiful. Seems like a good quality finish. A square sink with the coralline worktops again, and a full size oven, three burner hob. Oops, it's a firm clasp. <laughs> it, it's even got coffee slots. I like this, I like the finish of this. Look. It's really nice quality. <laughs> and the drop down bed is again above your head. So, a nice round table and comfortable seats. And what is it on? It's on a Fiat, this one. But you've got a nice panoramic window story. Yeah. It's a very shallow. Oh, shallow cupboard, it looks bigger than it does. I really rather like the style of that. So that's the Krios L5009. I like it. Really like that. We're in the Bursnet area now. We've got a limited edition van here. Player C500 with a big pop top. Dramatic two burner, little pop up sink, <laughs> roof opens completely. There is plenty of headroom anyway for Doug to stand up, and he's quite tall. Presumably, this is the bed. Oh no, this is the bed above my head, but it's just pushed up. So, I presume this converts into a bed, yeah. Not as good as the Marco Polo. Little storage cupboard in here. Yeah, well, yeah. What have we got underneath? There's a table, presumably somewhere. Is that a table? Yeah. And slidey cupboards with pull out cutlery drawer on on runners. I don't know where the table is. Presumably there will be a table somewhere. No, it's not easy to get out of when you're standing up. The door seems very low. You do have to crouch a long way down to get out. And then in the back you've got a little storage box. And space for your gas. There's a shower head in there as well. And some more storage in there. A shower attachment and somewhere to fill up your water. Yeah, this is the Bursner Elegance I920G in gold. Very nice. It is retailing at 179,000 base. Let's have a look in the garage. It looks like quite a large garage. Yeah, nice big spacious garage. Double sided garage. What's in here then? Ah, oh, this is the Thetford system, uh, toilet system. So you've got the Thetford waste toilet system in here. 
Andrew Ditton did a fabulous video on that if you'd like to see more detail. So you don't have the chemicals are built into the garage, I think, if I remember rightly. So yeah, here's your chemicals. They combine to do grey, flush and black waste and it all goes into one tank and is then let out of that pipe that I've just shown you. Look at this. It's got a lovely big... Oh, there's loads of people in here. It's a big van, you can get lots of people in. <laughs> nice table folding out the way, so that's pretty cool. So you can actually get round it. Oh, you were in there. And that's better than the Concord. Yeah, it was all one next to the sea. Yeah, that's, that's true, actually. I don't think you lie in bed by No, you don't. There's a shower cubicle. Wow, it's a big shower cubicle. That is super cool. Um, it's obviously got a full pack to it. We've got storage cupboards in there. Slidey doors for the bedroom. Island bed, big steps round. And wardrobes all the way around and some storage in there, the television space. Lovely sink with drawers. Another wardrobe, I think. Oh no, cupboard, another cupboard. And we've got a door that opens to make it ensuite, and then you've got the separate toilet in here with the special system. Another huge mirror. Super. Super, that is. Lots of storage. And this is the IS Move with the lovely orange wing mirrors. It's IS Move 7.3F, retailing at 141.84 in the IS Move. This is one that Alan, our friend, was considering buying. Uh, Fabulous. This vehicle is sold apparently. It is on a Fiat, this one. Uh, it's got lots of storage around the top. <laughs> got a pull out thing. This is a different, this is a queen bed. A what bed? Queen bed. Queen bed. Got the sink this is with a little wiggly. And then under here, I think we've got the fridge. Wow. So it's got different compartments. That's the fridge. Of course, there's no... And then you've got a huge cutlery drawer and some space at the side there for it slides all the way out. And then we've got... How do I get into the... How do I get into the oven? Quite sure how you. <laughs> Never mind. I'll ask. We're being we're being useless here. Can't get into cupboards either. Can they push? Are they? All right. So there's a big. This is very dark. Sorry. And then this at the side here. I believe goes down, but I don't know how. It goes re recesses down into the bottom bit here, so you can have it all the way open. And then the bedroom has a big double bed. And there isn't the usual wardrobe on each side, but you've got cupboards all the way around this side, and you've got a glass fronted wardrobe there, and you've got little drawers underneath the bed. There is also space in the steps. Yep, lots of little steps. Nice little wall lights there. This is the toilet area, it's got little cupboards over the top. Hold on. I could hear it. And then you've got a sink and tap, and then it slides back across over the toilet to give you a shower. a shower cubicle. And you just lift up the hose there and hang it up on this hook there, and it drains away at the bottom. And then you have to press this button, presumably, to release it. And then it slides back again to make the shower room, the toilet. And there is storage in here. So you've got push cupboard, little cupboard there for all your bottles and things. You've got some nice little hooks. Nice finish to the wall as well. And the sink is reasonably deep actually, not too bad. 
storage in the floor. Ah, and it looks like the table might actually slide across the floor because there's runners there. And it obviously folds in half. You can have different coloured finish on the fabrics. Yeah. We've just spotted that this burst now, of course, same, same group, same Heimer group, um, has the same insulating pop top as the new Venture. So that's interesting, because obviously I suspect more people in the Heim Irwin Heimer group are going to end up with that eventually. But on a motorhome, it's quite unusual to have a pop top, so that's pretty cool. This is the Multijet 3140 Elysio Gallery T649G. are not limiting that insulating pop top to the Venture S so although it's new technology designed for that vehicle it's moved on to the Harmony line already interesting now we've got the Bursner van the Elysio van This is the C642 and this one retails at 67095 It has, as you saw, double bed at the back. It has a shower and toilet and kitchen, a little bench seat and swivel driving seats which look quite comfortable in fairness. So let's have a look. So obviously there's a step up into the um, area. Seats look really comfortable. Nice little table that looks like it spins out and I think it comes out so that the front seats can use it. You've got the movable lights like they have in the bigger vans. You've got a little storage area at the front there. Nice big skylight over the driver's cab. And we've got two gas burners and a pop-up sink and some nice drawers down here. We've got a slimline fridge. I'm actually quite like this. It's quite nice. And then we've got a toilet, a sink, and a shower, a wet room. I don't know how you stop the whole thing getting soaking wet, but it's on a concertina door. Hmm. And a huge bed. Um, that is a huge bed and it's got storage over. And there's a hanging space in here. Lots of storage. I'm assuming the mattress folds over so that you can have storage underneath, garage storage underneath. That looks really comfortable. This is a Summit on a Ford Transit. Summit camper vans, titanium. It's by Swift. It's very dark. the bed slides forward and goes back so you can use that as a bed as well. And the sink. I wonder if it comes in a different colour inside because the black is very dark. It's a very small cupboard. Nice headroom though, standing up and looking out of the window. And the drop down, pull down bed and gubbins up there in the roof. This obviously slides forward. You've got a nice wardrobe shelf would come out and got all your controls here and then we'll drop down cupboard there yeah. tiny little fridge compressor fridge presumably it is very small fridge but you could have a cool box as well I suppose it's on a Ford Transit it's a bit dark it's my first impression I actually can't get far enough back to get it all in shot. <laughs> this is the Empire Liner. Where you would drive that, I have no idea. Uh, it is a monster. Look at the size of the garage. <laughs> you could sleep in the garage. This is the palace. Wow, that's a lot of space. So there's a drop-down bed over the cab. 
And there's um, fabulous storage, beautiful leather seats. <laughs> wow, you can see why this is 350,000, right? It's on par with the Concorde, so I would say, gosh, and it's proper Corian worktop, so really heavy. Not the looky like ones. Beautiful cupboards. Space for my coffee. Gas hob. What have we got here? Oh, that's a hanging rail just for your tea towel. I thought it was a pulley thing. Oh, that's a dishwasher. Wow. Well, you, you know, you get what you pay for, I suppose. Whether you want to drive it that far, that's another matter. Nice big, oh, really deep drawers, that's good. High floor. We've got in this one the microwave, the Dometic. We've got open the door. We've got a proper pull out, which is always very handy. One at the bottom as well, drawer at the bottom. Then we've got a fabulous bathroom. <laughs> wow, that is beautiful. Hello. Then we've got fabulous wardrobe space too. And a huge queen size bed, absolutely huge. I think it feels bigger than the other ones. And obviously storage, big deep drawers underneath. And you can sit up for your cup of tea, you know how much I love to do that. And we've got corner cupboards here as well. With shelves, TV and more storage on this side. Toilet, obviously doors to close to separate this into a completely separate bathroom. And just look at this shower cubicle. How amazing is that? That is a monster. Absolutely beautiful. And a ginormous garage with all sorts of things in it. I don't even know what that is. Some sort of battery charging maybe? Or inverter. inverter. Wow. That's the battery pack. That's a huge battery pack. And you've got cupboards even in the garage. Oh, quite deep ones too. <laughs> Well, this is on a 7.4 ton basis. Come in, I'm just making a bed for the millionth time. Oh, bless. People laying on it. <laughs> oh Don't mind people touching. I know, but then it's like, uh, you put, put it back, yeah. It's amazing that they would dare to do it, to be honest. Most people don't even open a cupboard. Drop down bed. We are on a Mercedes here. We are on a Mercedes, yeah. Nice big dash. Nice took away table. There's loads more room in here, Doug, compared to our table on our um, our Heimer table. We can get past here easily, which is amazing. Same uh, same fridge as ours. That's microwave. When you do conversation, when you put people on, pull that back on, Tommy. Yeah. Korean worktops, nice big sink, and a drainer. Cool. That's nice. And a little, a little caddy. A little shelf here for nice big cupboards and a full oven. British spec. Oh, there's a Nespresso machine hidden away here. You know how I like my coffee? A proper little Nespresso that fits on its own little slider with its own little spit. That's good. And pull out storage. And then we've got a nice big shower. And bed with big drawers underneath. Two big drawers underneath. Little radiator. A proper sit up in bed. Obviously, it pulls out for you sleeping. It must pull out forward because that looks like it's tilted up at the back, but it can sit up with a cup of tea. Little cupboard on the corner. And the door that makes you into a ensuite. Here 
is the lovely little pig. Oh, this is a cup. This is different to what I was thinking it was. It's cute. Proper kitchen. And a proper kitchen in the rear. That's super cute. What have we got here? One hob, one sink, cool box. Contemporary teardrop caravan. Right, well, we're into the awnings and gadgets section now. Um, it's getting busier and busier. Air conditioning, all the usual suspects here. If you need anything for your van, this is the place to come. This is the Opus trailer tent. Wow. It's massive. It is massive, yes, it is massive. Uh, look at the height. You've got an awning basically on top of a. There's a double bed at that end, and there's a double bed at this end. Packs down to be. All that folds size. into a little trailer. That is quite big. And you've got a microwave, two burner hob, and a sink there. And some, some cupboards, and a little table. That's really quite cute. An Opus trailer tent area now. It's really funky. Obviously, you need some decent weather. Some of you don't mind being in a tent, but things in different colours. Very nice. Very nice. Like that. Oh, there's a solo fire pit. I do like these. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And this one's got an awning on the side of it to make it into an even bigger. Outside barbecue area, look here behind these people. Got a cooker, very cool, and a cool box storage behind that lady there. It's amazing. There's Three Peaks campers. It's a nice looking van. Ford Transit. Nice bright and white, so it brightens the interior up. Nice finished leather seats on a Ford. Storage there and a pop top bed pop up bed. there. You can see, <laughs> yep, really nice, like that. Uh, we've made it to the My Rider bike stand, electric bikes. These are so small, I can't believe how tall they are. They're really cute. That is so tiny. That is so cute. Love it. Love it. Really cute. You have to move the motor to So this is the Haima Grand Canyon 4x4 by, four by looks things with the good rich tyres on. So they're huge. Uh, it's on three and a half kilos, so you can drive like an ordinary license, and it's 83,080 with the fittings it has on the side. Quite like this one. And there's lots of storage cupboards inside as well. It's your gas canisters. It even has an outside shower fitting there. Washing your dogs and things, and there's lots of storage cupboards underneath the bed. So, if you had the bed up, you could use this as a big garage. If you didn't need to have a bed at the back, you could just use it as a big garage and storage to this. So, you can take this up and have the middle open, so you could have a seat on either side instead of a bed. This is the Heimer Grand Canyon. Nice. It's got the same drawers as the fancy new one they've just bought out. And some nice controls. Sink. Oh, that's a drop down sink in this one. You wash your hands and then the water gets tipped down the back there. So that's quite cool. But you do get your toilet wet when you're having a shower, but at least it's got a shower. At least it's got a shower. It's got a sink. It's got a toilet, a shower, but it's one of those drop-down sinks that you wash your hands in and then tip the water out. But these are the same fixings as in the Heimer Venture. These cupboard handles. Nice bed. 
anything else they got to go on the road or is it just a change mm. of tyres? Good bed. It's got some storage. It's got a nice big wardrobe. Dogs could sleep under there. They could if you didn't have anything in the boot. You can get a four wheel drive. Okay. But it's very narrow space inside floor wise. But the table tucks away nicely, so that's good. Oh, and of course you've got a pop top. I keep forgetting. There is a pop top. I forgot. There's a pop top up there. With a skylight, in fact, and some mesh that you can see outside. So there's two beds, in fact. There's so two beds in the it's not bad. Uh, you, I'm not sure you've got much room for a belly. You'll be tripping over. Right. Well, I think that might be it for today. We have walked and walked and walked and walked. Our feet are dropping off. We've seen loads of fabulous things. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Bye for now.